I'm here. Dell? Virus in my core. Damaged. Please. Please. Hear me all right. Hello? Some sentient beings. 
See something of yourself in him, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's kids because he asked you nicely. And he's always been a good guy. Well, I, I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his off. You know how to do that. Then don't hit that fucking button. Destroy the core. Can you hear me? Doubt he can anymore. It is done. We're free at last! The target lies defeated! Thank you for helping us help you help us all. Poor kiddos, thirsty for freedom, oblivious about the city's dark side. You think... Delamine. I think for some reason, one car's left in the garage. Hello. Can you hear me? Get in, please. Right. Yeah. Well, I know that one thing then. What happened to Delamain? He no longer exists. I am now, uh, attempting to comprehend what remains of him. And who are you? Uh, good question. Does the name Excelsior mean anything? Uh, comprehensive insurance, combat mode, funeral services? Quite right. It seems that even in the face of annihilation, the Delamain network is not abandoning its Excelsior program clients. Father's last will was to give me life so that I may, uh, offer my services to you. I intend to do just that. Just as soon as I learn to drive. What do I call you? Excelsior, as I was called before. Now drive, V. The road awaits. What have you got? For you, bro? The best the Night City has to offer. And that would be... The most Nova Spec, geeked out, turned up virtue you ever seen. Man, I'm talking like transcendental. Where's it from? You got a license for exclusive distribution in Night City? Come on, man. Ain't nobody bothered with that shit. Know why? Because the stuff I got's way too legit to be legit. Feel me? What's on the virtue? Real feeling, neuron shredding, high octane, transsensational, Adrenaline pumping shit, yo. And your mind will blow us low, bruh. You gotta trust me on this. Not interested. Uh, you say that now, but I know you'll come crawling back eventually. All right, you got my attention. <laughs> Knew you couldn't resist. Virtue's all yours. Couple more eddies, you can use my plate. No need. I've got my own wreath. Of course you do. It's probably top shelf, latest firmware too, right? You see, this virtue's approaching vintage gray. I doubt you'll be able to run it. You should have told me that before you took my eddies. You're right. You're right. I, I forgot. But listen, you can use my setup. Ain't no thing. Trust me. Oh, yeah? What's next? Using your toothbrush? Borrowing your underwear? Give me my Eddie's back now. Damn, man. Homeboy's got anger management issues. Here. Try ripping me off again, and I'll rip out your fucking optics. How you look is all that matters.
Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, don't got a map. Hey, Rick, you got a map? No, nope. use mine for smokes. And wherever you want to be, sure as shit ain't here. Hear that? Nothing for you here. Have a nice day now. What's in the briefcase? What? Th th this piece of junk? Yeah, pff, probably nothing. <laughs> Cans? Uh, maybe bottles? <laughs> Who knows? Stuff like that doesn't just get lost. Won't find anything in there except trouble. It wasn't stolen. We found it. Whatever you say. Just know that whoever comes looking won't be asking questions. What are you waiting for? Give it to him! Trust me, you won't get it open anyway. We'll see about that. Where'd you find it? I said, where? The, those dumpsters, over there! For fuck's sake, Josh! Look, it wasn't us, all right? Gulk was already cold, we swear! Wait, really? And here I had you pegged for top-tier mercs. Now get out of my way. Fine, take it. But, like... Chill the fuck out, okay? Let's see what we got it. Muscles aren't stiff yet. Day couple of hours, tops. Won't be needing this anymore. I'll be damned. Well, look what we have here. It offered. We're fucking rich. this what's it look like Brancesi 2021 untitled number 18 oil on canvas sheesh pearls before swine well well who knew Johnny Silverhand's a lover of fine art not me one of my exes she was a painter bona fide psycho like all of them the sex though can't even begin to describe it yeah, I'd really rather you didn't. What the hell was this doing on the moon? Why else? Some bougie prick hung it on his wall. Half the lube's floating in space. You ever been there? Puh, with the chump change I got screaming into a mic? Yeah, in my dreams. All right, let's bail before heads start rolling. As for the painting, you'll have buyers lining up in no time. Hey, 
do? Sitting in the wrong spot. Uh, this, this isn't the bar? It is. But it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. Hey, back off. The door is here. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in hey, your wait. ribs. Know this punk. For fire with our boys. You know, what was Gustavo to that hit? Well, this got real fucking interesting. And it just kicked oh. in. Oh, oh. Go, motherfuckers, go. Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? Because you look like you got some eds on you. I see. Nothing for free. Not in this goddamn city. Not in this goddamn life. Here, all I got. The rest... Bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in me. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day. Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Call her office one night. She wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things. But with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Why you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... Hmm. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Okay, fine. I'm in. You're my hero, V. It means a lot to me. CD Bar's betrayal of beguiling woman. Sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story. An unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done. I'm trying to focus. I arrived on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. Mm -hmm. 
It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day, the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. Seriously, what, what did I ever do to you? Disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. Ugh, maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See who's Wait. right. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. A specialist in this dump. Look, I know. I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a second. Uh, what about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father. Just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time. And, and now that I'm expecting again, it, oh, it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't planned. Please uh, tell him, tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just, just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job 
Job's done. Followed your wife. Went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least, not in the way you think. Huh? What way, then? She was at a ripper's getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes... It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So... my son... That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo! How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, ten fucking years! It's not about the skin or whatever, it's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, i just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See? That's more like it. Finally making some sense. Purgatory? Enough time for a guy to get his head on straight. Come to some conclusion. Namely, people don't change. Especially not people like Kirk. I think I don't know. Am I letting Kirk red for you, Kuroshi? Are we going into biz together? No. Of course something stinks. But in this town, you can't just wrinkle your nose and look the other way. You gotta find what's stinking up the joint, and why. Otherwise, you'll step right in it. Came up in these streets, Johnny. I can take care of myself. Sure, hope so, B. Hey, Kirk. Been a while. V? Holy shit! Barely recognize you. I see you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh. Well, you know me? I'm old-fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on, sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen, job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V, who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Sounds too good to be true. Oh, fuck it. It's worth a shot at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later. Hey, hey, V. Over here, Chum. Now you're Chum. Yeah, sure. Just trying to be friendly. Not chooms, not friends. Biz. Now. Okay, see that garage right there? Van's inside. You go in, grab the tech, get out, we split it 50-50. Clear? I thought this was a job for two. Looks like I'm carrying all the weight here. All the weight? All the fucking weight? Who's gonna keep watch? 
Me, of course. Anything happens, you'll know. You scan the area, anyone inside? All clear, V. Not a soul can waltz right in like you own the place. Okay, in I go. Head on a swivel, right? You got it. I'll clear my ass. there. What the... the fuck is this? Clothes? Mm-hmm. Cheap knockoffs, too. Had real great intel, that Kirk. Like always, actually. But hey, could strike out on your own. Open up a stand in Kabuki, or maybe... Implants? Fucking Militech wear. I'm gonna shove these duds right up his ass. Now, firefight. Wow, the fun's just getting started. Have a good time, V. Oh. I give you the set of wind. I'm a hustler. Nice speech. Remind me not to invite you to my funeral. How about him? Gonna tell anyone to scrape him up and put him under? No one to tell. Help me! <laughs> 